carnivore. Long term, that's probably like a five. For healing purposes, that's an absolute 10. If you have to heal anything, SIBO, leaky gut, digestive issues, inflammation, it's definitely a 10. Long term, I would prefer something else. Vegetarian. That's a six, I think, missing out on a lot of animal protein sources, but eggs are allowed, butter is allowed, dairy is allowed, so it's not all too bad. And it excludes the junk. Vegan. That's a two. If you're not a chemist, it's very difficult to have that long term without nutrient deficiencies. Pescatarian. That can actually be a seven or eight. I mean, fish is amazing. You just have to focus on eating the small fish, not things like tuna, which contain a lot of heavy metals. Paleo. If done correctly and if your digestion works well, this is an absolute 10. Whole foods, fruits, vegetables, fish, eggs, dairy, meat, that's amazing. Mediterranean. I would say that's an 8 because it's misinterpreted a lot. Many people put too much focus on grains and too little focus on actually fatty fish, good high quality meat. But if you do it correctly, it's at least an 8. American Western diet. Okay, that is a zero, a zero point one out of ten.